Hello, greetings to you wherever you are watching it from. As usual, my name is Olua Kemi Sege and I welcome you back to my YouTube channel. I trust you are well. So, some time ago, I believe in the first week of October 2022, I created this two tier 70th birthday cake. Uh, at this stage, as you can see, I've already baked my cakes. This is a uh, vanilla sponge flavor. This, but this is the bottom tier. It is 12 inches square. Uh, uh, there are about four, five layers here, which I filled with buttercream, layered up, and at this point now, I am trimming off the side. Just trimming off the, the any bulge that is on the side on the cake, just to make sure that the entire cake is and sides is straight there is no bulge that everything is equally straight now i have now proceeded to the ganaching this is actually towards the end stage of the ganaching process i had spent a lot of time getting to this stage <laughs> it is no work for the faint at it especially when you're ganaching square cakes or cornered cakes in any uh, anyways it's, it's towards the end and um, the end and the end stage is end stage now what i'm just simply doing here is fine tuning the corners of the square ensuring that it is as sharp as i can get it to be it's getting rid of the excess fine tuning the corners and the and, and the sharp edges on the on the on the corners of the square as and as you can see you see the top of the cake there's a I left a lip at the top now that lip I'm now scraping it up I allow that lip to set I, put, I think I put it in the fridge for about 10 minutes align that lip to set and then use my small metal scraper to cut off to scrape it off on the top just again to give me that effect of sharp edges now I've then proceeded to the top tier again I have this is towards the end process of the ganaching this one I actually use white chocolate ganache while it's the square bottom tier I use milk chocolate ganache again I am using my small uh, stress uh, spatula or scraper to scrape off the lip at the top of my round square round cake to give me my sharp edge the round cake is 10 inches the size I think about 7 inches tall and it is red velvet flavor and those are my two cakes all beautifully ganached up and sitting pretty i have then proceeded to preparing my fondant i use it all the color is it's called sugar paste as well i'm using red uh, rancho extra white i usually use white and except very rare occasion and then i'm coloring it with or i colored it with my desired color the theme for the birthday cake or the birthday was uh, turquoise blue and white so I've um, applied or um, uh, uh, added turquoise blue food coloring paste to my um, sugar paste and then of course I needed it together to uh, come to that color. Well, whilst my fondant is setting before I begin to cover, uh, there are this step again uh, previously set preparing my edible lace which I prepared myself actually. I'm just I've taken out of, taken it out of the out of the oven at this stage. I'm lifting it out of the lace mat. So this is towards the end stage. I use about four four sheets for the uh, for the entire cake in this video. I have a video or a recording on this channel about how I make my edible lace. Although that one was uh, a, the gold edible lace the only difference between the process of that one and this one is because is that um, on that one because it is gold i coated my lace mat with edible gold dust so that by the time i apply the white paste it is gold so that's my um my lace now plain white completed and fully decorate um fully nicely done so I then now proceeded to covering my square cake uh, this this I'm um, using the paneling method for this purpose again I have a recording on this channel of how I cover my square cake using paneling 
my third. Have you subscribed to my channel yet? If you haven't done so, a quick reminder for you to do so subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. If you like my videos, please do not forget to like, give me a thumbs up, do not forget to share. I'll appreciate it. Share to your friends and family, you know, and uh, leave me a comment if there's anything you want me to know, even if it's just hello. Oh, I could have done this better or that. As, leave me a comment, I would appreciate it. I love to read your thoughts about my videos. Please leave me a comment. Anyways, this is the panel in my child. I have a full recording of how I go through this process covering this square cake. So I'm just using at this point now my I'm using at this point now my um, plastic smoothers to smooth my ganache sorry my uh, gum paste or my fondant onto my ganache cake to ensure that it is no, there are no bulges there are no air bubbles and getting rid of any air bubbles as best as i can and then now i've now begun to concentrate on accentuating my edges my sharp edges my sharp corners so this is what i'm concentrating on now i uh, first of all began with the top one and then of course using my plastic um, uh, smoothers and then cut up the excess using my paranite knife and, uh, and my uh, plastic smoother as a guide so the sound playing again in the background is a track the seven holy inns from my husband's album don't get bored with it they're very beautiful beautiful solemn sounds of Christian hymns that I love to listen to. Yes, yeah, so um, again, I'm getting to, towards the end of this process. Uh, what I'm just doing now is just getting rid of the excess fondants around the corners and the edges of my square cake using my plastic cam scraper and my peri knife to get rid of the excess fondant. I'm just trying to get to get the perfect square as best as I can. Again, a reminder if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. Subscribe to my channel. I'd love to read from you. Leave me a comment, like, and share it to your friends and family. And that's my completed square cake covered up. And then now I've then proceeded to covering the round top tier the 10 inches round top tier this time around i am marbling up I'm marbling up with white and turquoise my intention was just to have a mild turquoise blue marble around the white on the white fondant but somehow i think i added too much um turquoise blue by the time i brought it out but it still looked nice but i just simply wanted uh, just a, a mild tricks of marbled turquoise blue but even though that is still nice you know with marbling you can't get the uh, then no matter how many times you try you always come up at every time you come up with different patterns so that's the, that's the thing about marbling so this uh, marble has a bit more blue than I planned but it is still love looking lush looking beautiful okay so what i did now i'm not covering my i'm not covered my cake i'm covering my cake with gum paste now this one i used the drip over method to cover my cake with fondant again i have a recording on this channel mm -hmm. you must be i'm sure you must find something very interesting on this channel to watch i have another recording on this channel where i dedicated the recording to covering a round cake using the drape over method the drape over method is simply you measuring the entire circumference of your cake and rolling out a very large piece of your fondant measuring them of course to ensure that they're big it is big enough to cover the entire cake and then you now um smooth on you now lift it up and drape it over your entire cake 
and then smooth of and smooth smoothing it around your cake on uh, and then get rid of the excess which is what i did here though this is faster but there's a dedicated video on that on this channel so i've gotten rid of i've cut off the excess i've turned down the sharp edges so these are my two beautifully covered cake see them pretty waiting to be decorated <laughs> so now i've now proceeded to apply my um, my edible lace onto the bottom tier of my cake that is the square cake the 12 inches square cake before in order for me to uh, execute this i have then steamed my cake using my cake steamer this generates moisture it does two, two things actually it generates um moisture around my cake to enable me to apply whatever decoration i want to apply on it and again it helps me get rid of any excess icing sugar you know icing sugar is used to um roll out and cover fondant so it helps me get rid of that excess one so the, now i've now proceeded to stacking my cake i'm using um the uh, wedding cake that was uh, is the large one the raw one so what i've just did done is I've inserted them individually, uh, measured out the circle where my top tier is going to sit, and then inserted the the cut doors, measured it to the to where it stopped at the top of my cake, then took them out and cut them off, and then reinserted them again. That is royal icing I applied onto my bottom tier cake. I've now lifted up my top tier cake and placed it on top of my bottom tier cake. So underneath that top tier cake is a cake card again a 12 inches cake card that is it is underneath underneath that um, 10 inches round cake again for support so that it sits on those dowels at the bottom tier of my cake so that's my cake fully stacked up i'm now concluding or finishing up the decoration i'm steaming the uh, entire my, my entire cake now again to get rid of any excess um, icing sugar i've applied the i've inserted my customized number 70 topper again which i created myself <laughs> and i love things i create myself when i'm decorating cake which i learned in the course of the process in any event in the course of my caking journey i learned how to create cake tuppers i learned how to make cake uh, edible cake lace i learned how to do my edible and uh, to make my edible uh, images and of course use them as cake tuppers if i want to so now what i'm doing at this stage now is i am applying my rice paper again that's another skill i picked up rice paper i am um, is it's rice paper it comes in circle in a circular shape so what i did here is i, I colored blue a turquoise blue water lightly blue and then it's, uh, placed my rice paper into it to soften it it kind of turns into like a, like a jelly substance and then i kind of shape it in the way i want to shape it place it in my oven for about 30 minutes to harden up and then i'm now able to lift it up and apply it onto my cake so what i'm doing now i'm coloring the edges of those um rice paper four that i have placed on top on top of my on the sides of my top tier okay you yeah, just accentuating the sides if you know what i mean with gold defining the corners of the, the, the edges with gold that's what i'm doing at this stage so i am actually again a guest at that uh, 70th birthday party because the celebrant is known to me we she we used to work within the same uh, building when i was um working at the magistrate's court so uh yes and so i i know her and I, I'm a guest at the party, so at this point I have already worn my outfit, though not fully dressed because I kind of, I think I tied my headgear at the venue and applied my makeup at the venue, but I was ready to leave at this point to take the cake to the venue and set up. So I'm just finishing up, and yes, that's my completed, fully decorated tutier. <laughs> Turkey's blue and white 70th birthday cake with 
edible rice paper fall. I hope you like the cake. And that's the venue, I just, that's a recording of where, when I go to the venue. And that's the cake there, sitting pretty. I hope you like my recording, I hope you like the, the process, even though it just I just ran through it all. Uh, thank you again for watching, thank you for your support. I do really appreciate it. If you have if you just come across you have just come across my channel or come across this video and you're not subscribed to my channel yet, please do subscribe and please do leave me a comment, leave me a thumbs up and share share to your friends and family. I'm sure they might they will find something interesting on this channel to watch. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Until next time, please stay safe, stay well and stay positive thank you and god bless you bye for now take care and see you next time in my next video bye for now